Okay, now I know that we just got started, but there's something very important that I want to talk about, and it's something that I always tell anybody that I'm teaching color correction to, and that is, is that every shot that you're working on needs some kind of color correction, whether you think it does or not. And most people's way of getting in and doing color correction is to kind of get in, grab the saturation, and crank it way up. And you know what, that's kind of one way that you could think about doing things, but you know what, there's so much better ways that you can do it as opposed to adding too much saturation to everything. And let me show you the difference. So we have a shot in our timeline here. It's a great shot from Digital Juices, Video Tracks HD. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a very quick color correction on this, just to sort of punch the colors up a little bit on these guys right here. And like I said, what most people like to do is they'll select the clip, what they're gonna do is they're gonna navigate over here to the enhancements drop down. I'm just gonna drop that down. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna call up the color board. Now you'll see that I've got nothing selected because I don't have a shot here, there we go. And you're gonna see that the color board is divided up into three sections. We've got the color tab. We of course have the saturation tab. And last but certainly not least, we have the exposures tab. Now I'm gonna come back to the color tab here for a second. And you're gonna see that we actually have four sliders in here. And the four sliders actually represent the four parameters down here at the bottom. You're going to see highlights is the sort of almost white circle right here. Midtones, gray, obviously. Shadows, black. And last but certainly not least, global is right here, sort of the big gray uh, crosshairs. And how we get in and manipulate things is actually very easy. Simply just grab one of them and drag it really wherever you want it to go. Whatever color you want to have enhanced things. And you're going to notice as I bring it right back to sort of center, that everything goes back to normal. And you'll see that as soon as I get to the center point, there we go, we're right back to where we started. And as soon as I drag it off there, you'll see that the target has now changed colors. And as I drag it across, you'll see that that color is reflected right down here beside global. What I'm gonna do is just bring this back here for a second because what I said most people like to do is they like to simply come up to saturation and they like to come in and they like to adjust the global parameter and just crank the saturation way up like that. And you can do that. The only problem is, is that, remember, this is adding saturation to pretty much everything. So the guys that are in red here, red is always the worst because especially in standard definition, red just bleeds like crazy. Now, we're working in HD, so it's a little bit more forgiving, but I don't normally like to get in and just crank the saturation up. I find that to be a very ineffective way to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set this back to zero where I had it before here. There we go. And what we're going to do is actually navigate right over here to exposure. And I want to show you how I normally get in and quickly color correct things. What I like to do is I like to come over and instead of just grabbing sort of the main slider, making everything darker or lighter, just undo what I just did, I like to come in and I like to crush my blacks a little bit here. You'll see that this black should be a nice black color and it's not black at all. It's kind of a little bit of sort of a, almost sort of a blackish gray color. So what I like to do is just bring those shadows down a little bit. You're going to notice that as soon as I do, the reds really start to punch out. You can start to really see the red in there now as opposed to being sort of really washed out. What I like to do now is I like to bring the mids up just ever so slightly. And the whites for me always just stand out a little bit too much. And what I'm going to do is just bring the whites back a little bit. Just bring the blacks down again a little bit more. Bring the mids up a little bit more. And the highlights down. There we go. And what I want to do now is I want to see what the before and what the after was. What I'm going to do is just navigate right back to the inspector and you'll see right at the top I have my color section which I can actually get in and show right from here. You'll see that I can come in and I can match the color or I can even balance the colors if I want but obviously I have to analyze the shot first before I can do that. But what I want to do is just simply see the before and the after. You see a very slight change that we made, but you know what? It's a very noticeable change. And you not only see it in the BMX guys here, but you also see it in the green background as well. You can see it just helps everything stand out. It just helps everything get a little bit more punchy and just makes everything look that much better. Okay, so I just wanted to step in and give you a little bit of an introduction to how I sort of like to do color correction. So let's move on and talk about some of the third-party plugins that we're going to be talking about today. And why don't we start with our friends over at Yanobox?